the gist of my talk will be obviously just just wear the damn mask, but it progressively transformed into some cool AWS microservices and employee safety and inverted commas uh, uh, productivity. So the problem, we all thought 2020 was going to be a year, maybe 2021. With businesses going back to the working environment, employee safety should be our number one priority. But as a business, how do you actually enforce sa proper safety protocols without being lame and actually enforcing it? Um, AWS microservices to the rescue with some cool services like facial recognition, PPE detection, smart ID decoder, car license, uh, a disk uh, scanner, I'll be able to show you how businesses can actually eradicate the car and ensure employee safety and ultimately just improve our productivity. Um, so what I've done is I've built a little bit of a demo towards the end and I've got a little bit of a code, uh, code stack implementation. So my code stack I'm using in HTML with some open source, uh, open source libraries, um, some JavaScript, some uh, JSF, Java server faces, happy to go into some Java, uh, what JSF and Hibernate is later on. Um, my back end is predominantly Java because that's my forte. Um, Hibernate to handle the JDBC. My back end is, uh, or sorry, my database is, is MySQL. And then obviously my third party uh, my, uh, services are my uh, AWS microservices. So that's just an image on the right there. We've got obviously the, the front end over there. We've got everything in Java accessing the AWS and then saving it to a back end database. Um, facial recognition in the SAID decoder. So the idea with the facial recognition would be essentially to have a um, camera placed in the in the corners of the offices, or I'm sure they are around here. And as an employee walks in after scanning the uh, access card, we would be able to pick up their face and then do a facial recognition to the internal database um, to see if it is actually that employee uh, linked to that uh, access card, because we wouldn't want someone picking up a friend's access card and walking in. And then, for example, he has COVID, for example, and then all of a sudden your mates, your mates are the one to blame. How it's going to work. So what I'll do is I'll just show a quick demo of how I'm going to use that face over there and that face over there and do a little bit of facial recognition between it. The reason why I'm just doing that is because that's a lot more granular picture. It's a lot smaller. Um, and then I'm going to use a selfie that I took. I mean, it was it's not a great selfie, but I took it when I was playing around with the with the services back then. I mean, these were, I mean, my ID was uh, issued in 2016. I took the selfie in 2020. So there's quite a big difference between them. I was a lot fatter back then in 2020. Um, what's going to happen is you, you've got an internal uh, DVD database. That's going to send an HTTP request to AWS. AWS is going to give us a matching, a matching score, which then anything above 70 is a pass, anything below 70 is a fail. That is configurable. You can change that uh, as you so be. The SAID decoder, when registering a new employee, we would decode and extract the correct information from the ID and using facial recognition technology and a selfie, we'd be able to match the ID and the selfie to ensure that the data is correct. Um, a good scene setting would be having uh, the grad of 2020 register the details by simply uploading a selfie and the ID document and the system will handle the rest. So what I'm going to do a little bit later is I'm going to show how I can decode that barcode over there. And then I'm going to extract the, the data, pretty much the same thing, an internal data, uh, uh, BBD database, send a request to AWS, and AWS will give us decoded data. Um, how the barcode actually works, you've got that bar on the left there, that big bar on the left there, your big bar on the right there, uh, numbers 1 and 21. Those are your start and end patterns. Um, numbers 2 and 20 are your left row, right row indicators. So that just tells the um, scanner the orientation of the, of the barcode. And then everything else is pretty much just your, your data codes. It's, it just holds your surname, uh, names, uh, sex, nationality, identity number. This is the newer barcodes. It's a PDF 4117. Happy to get into a little bit more detail with that a little bit later, maybe in some Q&As. Um, but yeah, so what, what will happen is we, we I decode that and then I will extract the data from that. Car license disk uh, decoder. So the idea here is to scan a license disk um, pull out all the relevant information regarding the car and matching it to the registered person. So having the security guards down at the bottom there, snap a picture of your um, license di or yeah, your license disk and it will pull up who the owner of the vehicle is just to make sure that it is, I don't know, maybe I'm pulling up in my, my mate's uh, car or something like that and he has an accident or it's, it's, his, it's his problem. Um, but yeah, same thing is pretty much going to happen over there. We're going to scan that barcode over there 
with an internal database, send the request to AWS and it will give us the decoded uh, data. My favorite one is the PPE detector. This is the most uh, more recent one, obviously, because of our situation that we're in. Um, I had a lot of fun playing around with this one. Um, it's, a, it's a very, very cool tool. So we've got the evolution of the mask. Um, we've got one week of lockdown. I think everyone was cool with that. We've got three weeks of lockdown, a wild Karen uh, appears. So you can see I was not wearing it properly. 207 days of lockdown. I mean, what's the point anymore? And then the Ray, infamous Rage Festival 2020. I mean, we all we all suffered because of that one. Um, the PPE detector. So we all have our way of wearing a mask, but we're not always right. So using the PPE detector tool, businesses will be able to ensure that employees are in fact wearing a mask and wearing it correctly. Um, again, a scene setting would be to have that security camera placed in uh, at an entrance, and as an employee walks in the night, they will will be able to tell whether they're wearing a particular PPE equipment and then fla either flag them on the internal uh, profile or flag a particular uh, team member. So you can definitely ask the security guard at the entrance here. We went through a lot of photo shoots trying to take uh, those pictures of me walking in. So I'm going to upload two pictures of me walking into the uh, Kalani offices here. And again, we're going to extract the data through AWS and it's going to flag it whether um, I'm wearing a PPE detector or equipment or not. Um, so cool. So all the that's all the fun stuff aside. Let's get to the boring side with a quick demo. Um, let me open up here. So again, this is that, that framework that I've built. Uh, I've built it a while back and slowly but surely progressed from there. I'm going to quickly log in as the the admin user. Again, this is just a dashboard. Uh, that's just the the explainer that I had at the beginning. So let's start with the smart card decoder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the back of a uh, smart card, the front, and then a selfie. So let's start with the back. Uh, test images. ID. Brad back. Cool. Let that run. It may take a few seconds. Oh, it was actually quite quick. Um, so th that's the encoded barcode image. And then what it's actually done is it based all the information that's pulled out. Um, it's got the date of issue, date of birth, um, a male. I hope I was a male. First name, last name. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the front of the uh, ID, which is that one there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm matching that image to uh, that image there. OK, so obviously the first upload was just to dec uh, was that deco uh, smart card decoder. The second one is matching that face to that face there. So you can see I got a 94% match, so that's great. Um, and what I'm going to do with the selfie so I'm going to upload a selfie of my mate Dimitri. Uh, he's one of my closest mates. And if I upload uh, an, an image of him, you will see. So what I'm doing now is matching that face to that face over there. And you'll see we get a 0% match, uh, clearly because he's a different person. And then I'm going to upload that selfie that I took to, and to show you the truth that that was taken in May 2020. And then the date of issue was uh, to, to the, uh, 2016. Let's upload that. And then just give it some time. Hopefully it works. I made some last minute changes, so I hope nothing fails. Um, you can see that that's the match between the card and the selfie. So that's the facial recognition. I'm happy to go through a little bit more about how um, the, the JSON that we, we receive back and how it puts markers on your face to obviously pinpoint uh, the landmarks. So car licenses decoder. So what I'm going to do is just uh, go test images, car. I'm going to use just one. OK, so this is uh, my car or yeah, pretty much. Um, so what it's going to do again, pretty much it's a PDF 4117 barcode, but now this one holds um, information about the actual make and model and nothing about you, hopefully. Um, but there, so there it's pulled out all the information. It's in this and X Trail 2020 and it's pulled out who the owner's details are. And then what I will do just for record keeping purposes, I would upload a, pic a snap a picture of the car. To say that yes, that is actually the vehicle. So that, that's just for record keeping purposes. And then the PPE detector is my favorite one. Um, I'm going to upload it, an image of me walking into the offices with no mask on. So let's do the no mask on. And you'll see what will happen. Uh, it's told me persons with required equipment one. Uh, should be zero. Sorry for that. But then what, what, it, what it's done is it's actually highlighted me as a, a big red block. So that's just the image I've uploaded. There's the image that, that was returned. It's this, I'm actually not wearing any uh, 
TV equipment. But if I upload an image of me wearing a face mask, you'll see that it's actually drawn a square around my, my face there. Um, and with this PPE detector, what you can do is you can look for other equipment. So that doesn't have to be a mask. You can look for a hard hat, whether you're on a, a, a construction site or gloves, whether you're doing chemical removals and that sort of stuff. So you can do all of it. Um, I just don't think my bank account can handle the AWS calls for all of it. So that's why I'm just doing that one. And then let's just do a big one. So I've got a group image here um of us back in the day with rowing and it, let's just see how it handles quite a bit of images hopefully it passes so you'll see uh persons without required equipment it's actually flagged all of them over there because no one's actually wearing any face masks um and yeah so that's that's pretty much me i'm happy to speak about the framework i'm happy to speak about any questions regarding the, the um microservices